JFT just fair and direct. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to JFD's daily market review for January the 6th. I am Harald Lambos Pissuros, head of research here at JFD, and I will talk about yesterday's main market movers, what's my opinion moving ahead, what are today's important events, and how they could affect the markets. But before we start, let's read our disclaimer. The content we produce does not constitute investment advice or investment recommendation, should not be considered as such, and does not in any way constitute an invitation to acquire any financial instrument or product. I will leave you a few seconds uh, to read the rest, and then we will jump into our analysis. Okay, the US dollar traded uh, higher against the majority of the other major currencies on Wednesday during the Asian session Thursday. It gained versus Aussie, Kiwi, cut and slightly against the Swiss franc while it underperformed versus the yen and the euro. The greenback was found virtually unchanged against the pound. Now, the strengthening of the US dollar and the yen combined with the weakening of the risk linked currencies Aussie and Aussie, Kiwi and Looney suggests that, uh, suggests that the markets traded in a risk of fashion yesterday and today in Asia. Turning our gaze to the equity world, we see that most major European indices closed in the green, extending uh, their new year rally, although at a slower pace, but uh, later in the day, all Wall Street's main indices tumbled with Nasdaq uh, losing uh, the most. Uh, Nasdaq lost 3.34%. Now, the negative appetite rolled over into the Asian session today as well. Now, the catalyst uh, behind the switching investors' uh, morale may have been the more hoggish than expected minutes from the latest FOMC meeting, which revealed that officials said uh, the very tight labor market may warrant sooner rate, sooner rate increases, as well as that they could also reduce their overall asset uh, holdings to tame elevated inflation another move that could be considered quantitative tightening. Indeed, the minutes brought forth expectations uh, over uh, the first uh, rate increase with the Fed fund futures now suggesting that this could happen in May. The stronger than expected ADP report may have also helped expectations over faster rate hikes by the Fed. Now, the focus uh, may turn to the US employment report for December as strong numbers will add more credence uh, to the case. All this confirms our view to stay more optimistic on European stocks uh, due to the fact that the ECB will likely refrain from touching the hike button this year. As for the US equities, after yesterday's tumble, the technical picture suggests that uh, more declines may be in the works and this could be the case after a potentially strong employment uh, report tomorrow. As uh, for the US dollar and the US uh, tre Treasury yields, they could continue rising. Now, as uh, for today's events, we have the final UK services and composite indices uh, uh, for uh, December, which are forecast to confirm their preliminary estimates, while later in the day we get the ISM non-manufacturing uh, PMI for the month, which is forecast to have declined to 66.8 from 69.1. Now, besides the PMIs, we also have Germany's preliminary inflation numbers for December. The CPI rate is forecast to have ticked uh, down to 5.1% year over year from 5.2%, and, and the HICP1 to have slid to 5.6% uh, year over year from 6%. This could raise speculation that Eurozone's uh, headline CPI rate due out on Friday may slide as well. So, that's it uh, from me. Thank you very much for watching and listening. For those who are interested in learning about the main events of the week much earlier, you can subscribe to the Weekly Market Outlook webinar, which I'm holding every Monday at 8 o'clock AM GMT. You can find the link in the description below. So goodbye, have a great day, and I'm looking forward to seeing you here again tomorrow. JFT just fair and direct.